in that way. So there's kind of the balance between helping each other, but also you still want to be the best, which I think is really good. <laughs> and welcome back to another unfiltered gamer card game review. I'm Callie and today I'm taking a look at Prosperity, a game of artisanal tea blending. Prosperity is designed by Mentha Designs, is for three to six players, takes less than 45 minutes to play, and is recommended for ages 12 and up. We're going to take a look at the gameplay below. A uh, really simple game, so we'll show you some of the rules and then we'll come back up and I'll give my review. All right, so here's what you get in Prosperity. I'm gonna go through the components really quickly first. You have a bunch of cards and these are all of the ingredient cards here. I just wanna show the backs really quick. They're really nice design on the different types of ingredients that you'll be getting in the game in order to fulfill your orders. We have the order cards here. There's some standard ones and there's premium tea blend orders as well, which will be laid out like this. There's a bunch of tokens. So there's money tokens and some different denominations you'll use to purchase your tea ingredients from the marketplace. And then as well, some special favorite tokens I'll talk about in a minute. In addition, you have some player reference cards, which will explain how to how the game plays a bit and a first player token. So in order to finish setting up the game, you'll give the first player token to who's ever going first and give out the required number of tokens to the first player, second player, third player, so on and so forth. And then you're ready to play. On your turn, you'll be able to do a couple of things. First, you'll decide if you want to source ingredients. So you'll be able to source one, three or four ingredients based upon how much money you pay and that's all here on the reference card. You're going to choose from whatever is available up here on the top and you'll want to choose based on either orders you could fulfill or general orders. So if we see here there's a bunch of Sencha. If I want to pick up this one I could or maybe this one and, and Sencha and Grain then I could actually be able to fulfill this order if I was picking up three cards. And then maybe I'll just pick one that has a high value for my third card. And there's a few different reasons you'd want to do that. Then if you have the ability, you can turn in your ingredients to fulfill one of the available orders on the board or a general order. And we'll fulfill here. We have the matching ingredients for this one. Um, and when we fulfill this order, we'll turn in the ingredients, putting them in the discard piles up here and also having a choice now. So you can either receive the number of money that is listed on the card or get that number of prestige and prestige at the end of the game, which is just displayed uh, in your tableau, is how you're going to actually win the game. So early game, probably going to want more money. Later game, you're going to want to lay out, <clears throat> start banking up that prestige in order to win. And with your additional ingredients, it's important to hang on to these in addition because on other players' turns, they can also ask, hey, does anyone want to contribute to help me fulfill an order? And that's where these favor tokens come in handy. And when you help someone by giving them an ingredient for them to fulfill an order, you'll get a favor token, kind of like, okay, I owe you a favor. And you can turn this in at any point to uh, take the place of any missing ingredient. So it's a wild ingredient, which is very useful. In addition, it's worth one prestige at the end of the game. So that's a little bit how the turn orders work. And as you're going around, you'll be replacing the orders here uh, replacing the premium tea blend orders down here. And as you uh, are accumulating more and more, these orders will deplete. And as soon as one of them is empty, that's when the game will end. You'll count up your prestige from all of the orders that you've collected over the game, as well as your favor tokens. And whoever has the most wins. 
I guess I'll start by talking about the theme, which is really strong in this game. Obviously, prosperity has got to play on words in the title, and it's all about blending the different artisanal teas. And the teas have uh, are real life ingredients and real life combinations of ingredients, which was really great to see kind of exploring a little bit more about different teas and how they are kind of blended together in some exciting flavors. I love how the theme is embedded into the game in the gameplay as well as in the art and sort of design of the game. For instance, the, uh, the tea blend cards actually look like little tea bags complete with a little staple and a string with the type of card that it is and some tea that's actually kind of like in the bag that's really cute i really enjoyed how this kind of added the theme embedded into the gameplay but overall the design is really nice as well we have some i love the backs of these cards and that everything kind of looks a little bit stained with tea which is kind of fun and cute only thing i would mention and of course this is the prototype top copy so some elements may change in the final production of the game some of these tokens are a little bit hard to see the numbers on them they, they look cool like stained and kind of muted i think maybe just a little bit more contrast on these would be preferable just for for gameplay and people being able to see i don't know maybe i'm getting old I can't see all the numbers, but that'll help out a lot of players, I think. The game itself is really easy to pick up, learn, and teach to others. We got into the game really quickly, and it's quick to learn, teach, and play, which is great. The handy player reference cards, those are always a plus in my book to have those as any part of part of any game even even when you only have a certain number of choices having those there to reference for the different orders and the evergreen orders so I like the addition of the evergreen orders because you're not just having to go based off of whatever is on the field you can also kind of create your own tea blends not as not as creative as I would have liked maybe and as far as combining the different ingredients but there is that option to to get a little extra money just use what ingredients you have to do some of those evergreen orders which is great. In addition, the social interaction of this game really makes it a little bit unique from other just fulfilling order type games in that you can help other players out and you're also helping yourself out, but you're also helping that player out. So it's, you, you kind of want to do a little bit of that to get those favors, which are really powerful as wild ingredient cards. I mean, they can even be used for some of the rare ingredients in the game, getting you a lot of points and uh, kind of helping each other out in that way. So there's kind of the balance between helping each other, but also you still want to be the best, which I think is really good. Another kind of unique balance to the game is deciding when to fulfill the order for money or when to fulfill the order for prestige. Obviously early in the game, you want to get money so that you can get more ingredients. But at some point in the game, and you kind of have to decide, each player has to decide for themselves when they want to actually start gaining prestige instead, or do a little bit of both and kind of switch back and forth between those. And maybe there's not a lot of great ingredients on the board right now, so you want just to go ahead and get some prestige and try to get some money on the next round. So lot, some unique choices there, which are great. And even though really simple and easy to play, there is some strategy involved with those two specific elements. So who do I think would enjoy Prosperity? Well, I think you'd enjoy it if you're looking for a quick filler card game, something you can play with other tea lovers, maybe get them into games, could be a gateway game in that aspect through the theme, or just something to fill in the time in between other larger games or just have a more relaxing atmosphere. It's what I really enjoyed about the strategy of, strategy of this game, that semi-cooperative feel to it makes it a little less uh, cutthroat and competitive than some similar games that may have a similar theme of fulfilling orders and that was really great really enjoyable the art as well adds to that relaxing atmosphere and and makes it a little enjoyable game to pick up it has comes in a small package everything you need mostly the cards and and cute tokens and the description to the kickstarter will be down below you can check that out if you want to pick up and back prosperity. If you'd like, please 
like this video, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified of all of our new videos up on your YouTube feed. That really helps a lot. We appreciate it. You can also check out unfilteredgamer.com. We have a brand new website with lots of new blog content and a bunch of our video content on there as well as giveaways. So we give away games on our website as well as our live stream every Wednesday night at 6.30 PST. I hope to see you there because we just love playing games, interacting with the, our audience, and giving away games to them. It's a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching and as always I look forward to seeing you next time.